it is BHD Army, it is your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're here to watch a video called 10 Things You Should Never Google Part 2. If you guys want to watch the original video, it is of course by The Richest. Make sure to go and check their channel out. The link to this original video is in the description down below. As you guys already know, we took the chop parts out, or this way, Lego. As the saying goes, curiosity killed the cat, and we all get curious once in a while, and we get on Google to search for something completely disgusting. Nikki Katsouris. Nikki Katsouris? The fuck? In 2006, in Lake Forest, California, 18-year-old Nikki Katsouris died a horrid death while driving her father's Porsche when oh, she no. lost control of the vehicle and ran into a light pole. Oh, no. Her body was so mangled that her family weren't required to identify her body at the coroner's. Oh, no. The California Highway Patrol took photos per their protocol anyway, but then two officers leaked the photos when they emailed them to their friends. Oh. Despite the family's best oh. efforts, the photos still exist online with a simple Google search. No. Brian Pepper. Not not googling that shit. I'm screamish. No, nope, that shit sounds like the stuff of nightmares. Not about that life. Brian Peppers is a registered sex offender in the state of Ohio when his mugshot went viral on the internet. Pepper seems to suffer from a deformity or congenital disorder that leads to a deformity of the skull. Harlequin Phoenix. You know what's really messed up? I, I gotta see that one. Damn it. I'm fucking up. I know I'm fucking up. Oh, fuck. Yep. We fucked that up. I ah, shit. I love how this is legitimately a video that says 10 things you shouldn't Google, and we Google it and are immediately shown why the video is called <laughs> You Shouldn't Google It. If someone tells you to Google anything with the word fetus, the result is certainly never up to any good, causing scales to appear all over its body. Sadly, babies born with this condition only live for a few days, meaning Aww. this term is both horrifying and depressing. Two kids, one sandbox. Two kids, one sandbox? Really? It sounds sexual because everything in this category usually is. Children playing with poop, I'm guessing? Come on, bro. The video starts off with a naked woman pleasuring a man, which seems okay enough. But when the woman grabs a large vibrator and shoves it down the man's penis, your mind may see something horrible. Oh. But the actual visual is even worse. Oh. Fair by Marion Engel. Yep, not gonna Google that one. Nope. Nah. I thought it involved real kids. I'm like, that's fucked. How can that exist on the internet? But the end is actually worse. You know, because we dudes, we tend to feel shit when things happen to our crotches. You know, so when someone just shoves something inside of... It is known to be one of the most controversial books in Canada, and it was written in 1976 by Marion Engel. The work is no doubt her most famous because of the fact that the book is about a lonely librarian in Ontario who enters into a sexual relationship with an actual bear. Is this the description bear? and imagery that the book presents are not only scarring, but can introduce you to some new words that you will never shake from your psyche. Wait, what's that called? It's called bear. No one smashes a bear. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna look that up. No one smashes a bear. Huh? No one has sex with a bear. Yep. Okay. I was wrong. Moving on. And fiction. The classic video game where you have to organize following blocks has its own genre of fan fiction. If you are expecting an innocent story, then you have another mm. thing coming as all of these stories are erotic. There are vivid descriptions of the blocks that are similar to what may have been seen in Fifty Shades of Grey, but with blocks. Okay, look, man, I can understand, like, tree sex or something, or even to do the smashes balloons, even making Whoopi with a bear. I don't support it, but it, I can see it. But Tetris blocks? Really? Is this someone really out there busting nuts off of this? Is this like real? You lying. Think about that for a moment. Snape wives. Snape wives. We've all had our crushes on famous literary characters, but in this case there is a group of women who believe that Professor Severus Snape from Harry Potter is an actual person to fall in love with. The women take turns channeling Snape's soul so they can marry him and have relations with him. Really, and bitch? yes, there are pictures. Really, Which is bitch? why you should never Google the term Snape wives. I'm not gonna do Faces that. Faces of death. I'm not gonna do that. One such term that you should never Google is Faces of Death you will see different faces of people who have died, which by itself is pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. However, just know that not everyone dies a peaceful death. Bomb instructions. 
Damn. If you want to get the United States government and the FBI on your front door quickly, then Google instructions on how to make a bomb. No. Searching this term will obviously <laughs> alert Google, and the search engine will likely notify your proper authorities that no. you need to be questioned. No. With all the terror attacks going on these days, you can't blame them for their inquiries. That's true. Goatsy. Go, go, go what? Goatsy.cx is the shock site that sets the standard for other shock sites. Simply Goat known sex? as Goatsy, the site features a man holding his anus open with both hands, exposing the inside of his rectum. The image has become such an internet sensation that Hollywood and the marketing industry have made numerous references to Goatsy in their photos, shows, and movies, much to our disgust. How do you hold your anus open? What? No, because you know you had to practice. Why would anyone want to do that? What's really fucked up is, I don't know, man, would y'all want me to make, like, a series where I Google some of this shit? Like, I ain't going on the deep web, but I might just Google some of this. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm setting myself up for failure. I'm fucking up right now. If I Google some of this shit, I'm going to fuck around and ruin my life. Faces of death. Maybe I should just shut the fuck up. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not... Disavow that whole last shit I just said. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to watch the original video, as we tend to chop parts out, you know, that way if you want to watch the entire video, you got to go to the original content creator channel. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Um, Lego. Wait, Twisms. Shit. I'll be fucking up.